What's up guys and welcome back. First video of 2018, here it is. Supposed to post a video yesterday on Monday because that's usually when we drop the tutorials on this channel, but I thought I'd switch it up. Maybe we'll keep Tutorial Tuesday, who knows? Let me know below if uh, that makes more sense to you. Happy New Year everybody. Hope everybody enjoyed the festivities during the holidays. Uh, let's get right down to business. First of all, I wanna welcome all those newcomers to this channel who've been checking out my content lately and have subscribed. Just to let you know you're all welcome here. Thank you for watching. And and uh, even if you're not a magician, or if you're just interested in magic or sleight of hand as a hobby, or you just wanna dabble with cards every now and then to show your friends, this is a perfect channel for you and you're always welcome here. And for those of you seasoned vets of sleight of hand and cardistry and magic who've tuned in to here time and time again, years and years, welcome back. This video is definitely for you. Today, I'm gonna share with you my handling on one of my favorite card controls. Actually, my favorite card control. This is a control loosely based off of Bow to Stern by Ernest Eric. There are a lot of similar handlings to this particular move. Chris Mayhew had one using the plunger principle. Also, I know that uh, Bizau Christian had something similar where he would control it either to the top or the bottom. Uh, but what I'm gonna teach you today is a way to do that control seamlessly where you place a card in the middle of the deck, show them the card, and the card's in the middle, you push it in, and it's on top. And it's that clean. If you, as you've seen in the trailer, it's a really, really clean move. Very knacky, uh, very sleight of hand intensive, but if you're up to it, up to learning it, and putting the time in, definitely gonna be worth it. So before we get into the video, guys, if you do like this content and support this channel, go ahead and like that video, subscribe if you're new here, and let's get into it. All right, so the mechanics for this move are a little bit intensive. It kind of looks like mechanics, actual like gears and stuff shifting around in your hands. This is something I use in performances quite a bit, uh, but it is a little bit angle sensitive, so mind those angles. I'm gonna run through it this way, and then I'm gonna turn around and give you kind of an over the shoulder uh, look at it. Here's what the control looks like. A card is placed into the middle, shown one last time, and pushed in but yay, the card is on top. There are a few things going on. A lot of you know that there's something going on back here because you kind of see my hands uh, go back here and do some type of small amount of movement. But uh, to be fair, still kind of inexplicable. You are placing the card in the middle. You're going to grab the deck like this because essentially what you're going to do is bring this portion of the deck down you're going to, with your index, use that card to go under the top card. And then with your thumb here, you're gonna push as you pull. And that should protrude multiple cards, but from the top down, it looks like just one. Okay? Now, I know this looks really complicated, and believe me, it is, but if you practice, you'll probably, uh, you'll probably end up getting it. So, so from the back, here's what's going on. A card is selected. You riffle down with your thumb to place it there and you leave it just about halfway, maybe a little more. Uh, yeah, just about half. You're going to show them the card, but in the action of showing them this card one last time, you're going to tilt upwards. Your index finger is going to contact this card, okay? On your dealer's hand. So you're gonna, that's the first thing here. Cause you want some pressure there and you'll see why in a second. You're going to tilt up. This hand's going to come in and uh, this is a weird grip. You grip thumb down here, middle finger here, index in the middle, okay? Kind of like this. Now, what you're going to do is kind of like a, a little bit of a flourish. This pack is going to go straight down like this in this sort of fashion. Because obviously from the front, if I, uh, if I go here and go down, you're gonna see that. So you wanna tilt it up so that they don't see that, okay? So that's the first thing here. Card is here, Doosh. this little claw grip, and you got your index on the other side, okay? So your middle finger and your index are gonna create this like sort of pressure, kind of like this, okay? You're gonna grab this and you're going, you're going to slide down, but your middle finger is gonna stay there. So just your thumb and index. If you if you guys have learned the 50K flourish, where I do uh, this, it's kind of like that motion, all right? Uh, card goes in, claw grip. Your thumb is going to lift up that portion. Your middle finger is going to stay there and your index is gonna help this pack slide down just until it gets behind there. Now, once it's behind that card, your index here 
is going to slip a card underneath like so because that's what's going to allow you to to do the whole move okay card goes in one more time claw grip you show it so you come up as you come up your thumb lifts up your index goes down your middle finger stays here okay so this is sort of happening okay and there's sort of pressure from your index your thumb is pulling this way your index is pushing down and it's sort of applying pressure to the to the deck that's in your hand okay see how this see how those cards bend it's sort of applying pressure there at this point okay applying pressure index slides up a little bit once that's cleared here's here's where everything happens you're going to with your middle finger as you come down you're going to pull back that card but at the same time your thumb is going to push inwards towards the deck applying pressure downwards on the deck to make this block of cards sort of appear, okay? Card goes in here, in the middle. I get that claw grip on the back. So middle finger, remember index is still here. And as I come up, I don't wanna do this move first because you're gonna see me shifting cards around. So as soon as I get that cover from lifting up, that's when I go here. Now I'm stuck in this weird triangle type formation. All right, that index, remember, slides under that top card. And as soon as that's done, I pull back as I apply pressure downwards. It's kind of magical. It kind of looks like gears, you know what I mean? So you're here, slide down, okay? Again, I don't want you guys to get too confused here. I want you to see what's going on. And the reason your middle finger here is stays there is because if your middle finger wasn't here, and you do this, like you might see the card sort of pop out a little bit and that's just a weird thing, you don't wanna see that. So this middle finger serves its purpose for the card to stay in position, pushed up against that pack so it stays straight. The index here slides that card underneath and as soon as it slid underneath, as soon as I'm in this position and I'm ready to make the move, my middle finger is going to retract and my thumb is going to push in, creating that illusion that the card is still there. So here, I go up, show the card, slide under, and as I come back down, boom, that's what happens. If you like, you can use your index to push in all these other cards and you know, just do something fancy before you push it in. That's completely up to you, but I just like kind of pushing it in. So you're here, they get to see the card one last time, boom, and very slowly, the card jumps back to the deck. Now remember this all happens in one smooth motion. This should not be jerky, fidgety, uh, you know, it shouldn't be like that. I don't wanna see this. If you're on Instagram doing this and tagging me, I will block and delete you. Do not do, not do this, okay? That's no good. One thing I like to do is, uh, is have them choose a card. So let's say they choose this card here and I say, all right, I want you to have a quick look at it. You got it? And they say, no, okay, fine, have a longer look at it. And at this point I show it to them, I say, you got it? They say, yes. And then I come back and now it's on top. And you can do whatever you want from there, but kind of like a justification for showing it to them like this, because that's a weird motion to do. It's not the best motion in the world. Like, oh, look at your card. Like how hard is it to just do this, right? So I kind of just go, have a quick look. And they go, okay, all right, fine. Have a longer look, you got it? They go, yes, all right, perfect. Boosh. So again, one last time, and then that's it. You guys are gonna have to rewatch this. Boom, goes into the middle. Claw grip, here. This card slides under. Sometimes it'll get stuck, which is not fun. You just kind of wiggle it underneath. Middle finger slides down as the thumb pushes. Remember, you're not pushing straight out with the thumb. You're pushing down towards the deck that's in your hand and out, because that pressure will allow that to happen. Now. Small subtlety, if you leave it out too far, what'll happen is this card will shrink, right? And that's because if you leave it out too far, you're starting to apply pressure on the top of this, which, which won't protrude uh, much of the card. So that's why I like doing it towards the middle because you, uh, you get a nice retention with the same length of the card. But anyways, that's it. So go ahead and practice that, guys. Please do practice it before you post anything around online. Make sure you got it down and uh, roll the outro.
All right, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you hope you enjoyed that. Hope you put the time into this uh, move. This is a very, indeed, knacky move. And as I've said, the angles aren't too bad for performance as I, I use it, but uh, they sh you should mind them as well. So practice on a camera or in a mirror on your friends before you go out to the real world and then uh, go ahead and give it a go. Let me know how it goes. And uh, the happy 2018 to everybody, and we'll see you on the next video. Got some really cool content coming uh, very, very soon. I'm not going to share that with you right now because it's gonna be so lit. I'm a little too excited. I've had three cups of coffee. All right, guys, see you on the next video. Peace.